Yes. For this uh, edition of the Smart Alex. You Welcome. know who we are. Um, the Smart Alex. I'm your host, John, the host of the, the, the show, the, the founder of the piece. It's a large chord in, 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 in my. There you go. We good, we good, we good back, we back, we back. So you know who I am, the host of the show. Um, I'm going to be guiding you through this wild ride we call the Smart Alex Podcast. I didn't come alone. Make sure you subscribe, subscribe, thumbs up, go to our YouTube, all that good stuff. My bro, this is my bro here, man. You can say that on your own when I ask. Sit out of here, I'm not doing that. It's my bro. It's no respect knuckles. Respect knuckles. We did that shit when we were done with this. But I just brought Angry Al with me since he wants to interrupt. We got a great show. Al, say what's up to the people. What's up to the people? So we got a, we got a great show. It's action packed. It's action packed. Please action stop packed. barking. Please stop barking. Thank you. All right. I won't bark anymore. For <laughs> we got a great show. God, Bobby. We're gonna do what's called the tease. We're gonna hit you with the tease. It's an amazing, amazing thing. The tease. So uh, we're gonna talk about Cardi B's divorce and how it relates to Offset's stepfather, which is crazy. Mm. Uh, Money Bag Yo has made the news. Bag. Kodak Black, one of my favorite, favorite people in this world, I tell you, Kodak Black has made the news again, and I just want to say, that's one guy who I think is heading in a great direction. Ray J's back, Ray J's uh, not just making earbuds, he's still out there doing stuff, it's not just the, the great guy, the brat. The brat. B R A T T. Ain't that what it was? That's just one T. Oh. It's too many T's. So I, mean, I don't know what the B. Right. The R. There's no. There's, <laughs> it's no to the. There's, there's, there's no to the in there. No, it's just the, B to the. The brat. And uh, you know Rashida from Love and Hip Hop? Right. I don't know her personally, but no, I have don't. heard of her. Well, her husband. I heard she's father. not that tall. Thank you for that. But I, I didn't hear she was a midget. Thanks for telling me how her height plays a part in this whole scenario we're discussing. Well, what, what, what what's going on with her? Is she real? Yeah, I guess she's real. Oh. <laughs> we'll, we'll get into the Brad and how Kurt Frost and her used to hook up. It's so crazy. She used to fuck with Curdy Frost? Yeah. Curdy Freeze? Yeah, don't, don't call him that. He told me that. Like, is that, if Al says that... Tell him not to do that. Check. Curdy Freeze. Curdy Freeze said, don't do that. He said, it's Kurt Frost. Oh. We're going to start. We're going to start with the, the hottest lady ever. Cardi B. I love her. Cardi. Wap. She got that wap. Is it wap or wap? Wap. wap. Or is it? Wap. Yeah, because there's no period. So it can't be W-A-P. Right? Is it period? No period, periods, but you know what it stands for. It should be period there, though. Punctuation-wise. If she wanted to be correct on the punctuation, she should have put period. Thank you, English teacher Al. What? The professor of punctuation what himself. What as Puneni. Ain't that what it is? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, something like that. So she is the main character of WAP, her and Megan Thee Stallion. WAP, WAP. Um, WAP. She's divorcing her husband, Offset. And Offset's stepfather, well, someone who claims to be Offset's stepfather, I don't know if this shit is real, but. This gentleman's name is Tony Playa, or I, I can't pronounce it. It's P-L-A, so it's like Pla. So Tony Pla um, is Offset's stepfather. He said Cardi B is a drug abuser, and this shit is all for attention because I guess she's like some sort of drugged out attention whore. What do you think? Go. Oh, you're texting. I'm sorry. Sorry to interrupt your texting during the show. Yo, I heard you, bro. I, I bet you did because you're, like, in the show. I oh. was texting the gang. So, anyways. Thanks. 
<laughs> Would you like me to reiterate what's going on so you can Well, catch I know you, it was Cardi B and her stepfather, but I... Her stepfather? Or was it Offset's stepfather? Whose stepfather was it? Was it was, was, it? was Offset's stepfather. What's going on with that? He was, uh... Ah, ah there it is. He was caught... Uh, texting? All right, man. All right, so I, I did kind of zone out while I was texting. Yeah. Because I was laughing because I called everybody dirty SOBs. Yeah, that was so dope. It was Thank funny you. while I was laughing at the text. That's awesome. Thanks for being in the show. I let everybody know we was live. Thank you. And I bet you they said thanks, Al. Nobody has replied. Right. But it was so important that you had to do it during the show. Bro, I had to do it. All right. You want me to reiterate what's going on, or do you want to just move to another topic? No, let's just well, one that you'll pay attention to. I'm gonna pay attention to all of them. What's Cardi B? What happened to Offset's stepfather? Did he come out of retirement and try to be his dad now? <laughs> Is that what is going on? Is he trying to come back into Offset's life? I don't know. I'm just thinking that's what I would be trying to do if I was his stepfather. I'd be trying to make him. I would try. I would try to make amends for when I was treating him like shit. Cause you know, stepfathers probably don't treat kids like they really should keep treat the kids. Yeah, that's what this story's about. <laughs> exactly, nailed it. All right, bro. You said that Cardi B was doing drugs, and well, at least the stepfather said that this is all for publicity, and that Cardi B was doing drugs. Yep. All right, so I don't. I mean, personally, I don't think Cardi B is doing drugs Why because not? she Her behavior is she erratic. looks she looks pretty good to me. What kind of? I drug? guess the the camera adds ten pounds, though, huh? That's what I they say. Know. I don't know. I never seen Cardi B in person. Like me either. I have to be around her and like see her every day to and see if she's doing them drugs. Yeah. So does he see her every day to say that she's doing drugs? I doubt it. So how does he know? Does Offset see her every day? Probably not. Yeah, probably not. Because he's married. They probably ain't see each other every day. Probably ain't see each other once in a while. If you was married, would you want to see your wife every day? Yeah. Okay. That's what I thought. I I, I mean, so if they're married and they don't see each other every day. But, but, right, I'm about to say he has to travel as as an entertainer. He has to to make money. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. She probably, you know, they probably got But she had to travel too. Did you really think that this was going to last? Yeah. You really thought like it was going to be like I 10 thought years. this was going to be like the hood the hood um the hood um Will and Jada? Nah. Can't even use them no more. They didn't been entangled. They didn't been entangled in an entrapment. Uh Barack and Michelle? Yeah, something like that. Maybe more Barack Michelle. Mm. Because we haven't heard any scandals come out of there yet. So you, so you saying you really thought? Hopefully this was not. Happen. Yeah, why not? Two rappers in You've love. Been drinking. Two rappers in love, man. Come on, man. We both have the same interests. We both are interested in the same things. We both like music. We can help each other with our rhymes. You know, I'm, not I'm, gonna be a I'm guessing. I'm guessing that's how the relationship started. Like right? we can help each other with rhymes. I don't want to sound like a dick. What? That shit sounded like it was doomed from the start. I thought it was a joke. Offset and Cardi B getting married. Why? Why, man? Why don't you believe in black love, bro? Let's put that out there. You don't believe in black love? Go. No, I don't believe in their love. Ah. Uh, well, that's black love. Aren't they black? No, you're painting with a wide brush. I'm talking about something very specific here. Cardi B and Offset, they were doomed from the start. Do you really think that that was going to last? I thought there was going to be like Jay-Z and Beyonce. I did not. I thought there was going to be like, this was all for fun. I think it was a publicity that stuff? That shit was a joke. I think it was just because she got pregnant. That too. That's cool. I mean, I respect that. But, you know. He, hel- he helped. How many summers did he hold it down? Like one? He didn't even hold it down six summers. I think it was like two or three. Maybe two. Was it two? Okay. Three? I don't know. I don't, I don't keep track of these things. Who does? But guess what? This shit was doomed from the start. Doomed. Moving on. Let's talk about Moneybag Yo. I 
didn't even know he was still like. Who you say, guy. Baby Yoda? I said Money Bag Yo, nigga. Are you listening? Did we even talk about <laughs> but Baby Yoda in the pre, the pre-show? I was bashing the Manchurian. Thank you, but what I'm saying is, did we even bring up Baby Yoda before you even like said Baby Yoda? No. Okay, just making sure. So, what I'm talking about, money bag, yo. The person we talked about in the pre-show, remember? He's a rapper. And his girl, what's his girlfriend's name? Ari? That's it. I didn't write it down in the show notes. But her name was Ari. Ari something or other. They got shot at by some goons in Vegas. Two of their... Entourage were hit. They were ladies, but there was non-threatening wounds. Two chicks was hit? Yeah. But there was, like, non-threatening. They just couldn't get down. Who do you think these goons were? Why do you think they shot him up? I think it's because he flashed some money on IG right before this shit happened. What do you think? I think it was for publicity. Why every time somebody gets shot, you think it's for publicity? <laughs> like, a nigga be like, yeah, he got murdered. Yeah, that was for publicity, man. They try to get this nigga out of the blow up. <laughs> like, I, nah, he's dead. Like, nah, so watch, watch. Watch how many apple cells he got. Shit, he tried to take care of shit. He gonna drop another one, too. He's dead. <laughs> Yo, unfortunately, man, I told you, I read a book, man, and the book, it says the best publicity is negative publicity, man. It just is. It gets the most views, bro. So, I'm not saying everything negative on that these rappers and artists do is fake, but, man, you can't really, because uh, like you said, think about it, man. Where's this nigga from? Ain't he from, like, fucking Florida or some shit, or Atlanta. So you all the way on the West Coast. You in Vegas, first and foremost. We've been to Vegas numerous times. And I'm not saying that we got money like money back, yo, because we don't, but we've been to Vegas numerous times. I haven't seen any shootouts in Vegas, have you? Me, personally, I haven't. Now, I'm not saying I've been there that many, that much where I don't see shootouts, because there has been some shootings there, of course. It's, I mean, it happens anywhere. But, I mean, you know, money bag, yo, with Ari. I mean, uh, unless they rob the Yakuza, you know what I'm saying? Well, and he uh, said he flashed some money, he flashed some money and shit on IG, uh, flexing. Okay, so now, so just like R.I.P. Pop Smoke, but Pop Smoke flashed something on IG. So now, if, because, if, I mean, <clears throat> people have been flashing money and shit on IG for years. This ain't nothing new. Flashing money on IG and well, shit is not yeah, nothing new. But now I think people, like you said, now, um, they've been doing it for years. Now people are now making moves on those said people who flash money on IG. Mm, maybe, but um, so if you follow Money Bag Yo, and you're like a goon, okay, I'm just saying like you're 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 a criminal type, you're a criminal element, and you see Money Bag Yo flashing money and shit on IG, and then you see him on. On, in Vegas, in your city, in your city, right? You not gonna move on him as like a criminal. Well, I mean, as a I mean, you're not, you're not like the host of the podcast. Well, right my now. thing you're is this. Criminal. My thing is this. See, so so here we go. So let's so let's talk. So now we're bringing technology into it. Okay, technology. So when you post on Instagram, I mean, unless you're a super hacker or some shit like that, I'm only posting where I'm at, so I can say. And then <clears throat> you got to realize you lightweight posted in real time. So if I say I'm in one place, that don't mean I'm going to be there by the time you get there. So unless you actually where the fuck I'm at at the time, nigga, you ain't hitting me because I'm probably going to be gone by the time you get there. Or by the time you get there, I'm, I'm definitely... I'm definitely not exactly where I was at when you, and even if I was, a lot of times when you see them niggas posting on they, in, in they rooms and shit like that, these niggas be in penthouses on the top floor, and you don't see the room number and shit like that, you just boom, boom, and you gotta even have a key to even access, nigga, we done been in the hotels, nigga, you ain't just going up the steps and just get, you gotta have a key to access that shit, so, I mean, you really have to be on some old movie shit, you have to have a, a plug 
who got keys to the rooms and all that other man this shit now no, we're not saying that no i'm no i'm just saying this happened in I, I think this happened supposedly in the streets so even with that you know i'm gonna just shoot at a nigga in the streets and not get the money like what like that's not how you rob people you rob people first off by not saying nothing you're not gonna know i'm coming i'm not i'm not I'm not hopping out of my car with my gun out busting. That's not how I rob people. I rob people incognito. I'm gonna try to do it without them seeing me, and then I'm gonna put the pistol to their back and walk them somewhere. That's how robbers really get down. Niggas don't do. If I'm trying to rob a nigga, how I'm shooting? How I'm shooting it out with you? I'm not trying to shoot it out with nobody. I'm trying to rob you. So. I don't know, man. You know, it, this shit just be so. It's just all about this shootout shit. All of a sudden, this everybody just gung ho. Was this, was this, my thing was like, was this security shooting back? Was he shooting back? Was there shots shot back, or did they just, you know, what I'm saying they never said that he returned fire. They never, you know, what I'm saying because that's what I was thinking. Because if people are shooting at us and we got guns, we're gonna have to shoot back. And if I have security. My security should definitely be armed. Once again, man. And like you said, if if a shootout in Vegas because the amount of people, just the sheer amount of people in Vegas, unless you like off the strip. And my thing is, why are you well, off the strip? And, and all, and, and I'm just I'm just keeping it a hundred. If I'm really trying to rob you. And the robbery go wrong, somebody getting shot. Somebody getting hit. It's not a shootout. You know, I'm right. It's not a shootout. It's right. It's somebody, because you either saying, no, nigga, I ain't giving it to you. I'm up close, nigga. I'm not, I'm not across the street I'm telling you to give me your, right. How I'm robbing you across the street or how I'm robbing you, how I'm robbing you anywhere not close to you. That's all I'm saying is, okay, I seen this nigga flashing money, so I'm going to try to, Shoot it out with him? Right, I'm gonna try to shoot it out with him, or I'm gonna try to ride up on him in my car and jump out of my car and tell him to give me my. I mean, I don't know. Like, RIP Triple X. When he died. I don't know the scenario. Like, Triple X, but scenario. what I'm saying with like, XXX Distachion, with what happened with him, I could. That was more believable because of the proximity of the way everything happened. Of where. Wasn't he buying like a motorcycle or something? He was buying something. He had a bag full of money. They seen he had a bag full of money. So I could see somebody calling somebody and them rolling up on him or even niggas leaving that exact same spot and being like, nigga, we getting this nigga right or, now. Or setting it up like, right. like, yo, when he come with the money, just roll up on him and we, you know what I'm saying? We, we right, but him. if it's just you at the casino flashing money, nigga, this is Vegas, nigga. Everybody at the casino flashing money. Mayweather is in... I, nigga, I ain't never heard about nobody pulling up on Mayweather trying to shoot it out and take his money. And Mayweather, ride, and he got to be riding around with millions because every time you see that nigga, he got a mil, at least a million on him. And my thing is, like like you said, like, it just, like, I understand what you're saying, like, it's faking for publicity, but. I mean, I'm not saying, once again, man. I, I understand like I said, where you're coming from, but like, like you said, like, I don't know the whole scenario. And if this shit was a robbery, why are we shooting it out? Why are we not robbing? I thought that's what we did. But let's move on. That was a good discussion. Let's move on. Let's talk about Kodak Black. Kodak Black is suing the Federal Bureau of Prisons for torture. Kodak Black states that he was held in a paper gown for uh, six hours in a four-point restraint with no access to the bathroom. You know what a four-point restraint is? That's when they got your hands and feet up, right? Right. My thing is, what did you do to get in the four-point restraint and paper gown, my friend? How did you get there? Let's start there. And did they leave you there for six hours? What did it just seem like six hours? Right. Shut up, shut up, John. Was it six hours or six? Did you have a watch on? Who was timing this? I mean, I'm just saying, I, was it six hours, six hours or was it maybe like two hours and you just thought it was six? No, um, shout, shout out to uh, Kodak Black, man. Hopefully 
he come home and he be, I don't know, man. He did some wild shit to go to jail. So I really don't have no remorse for what he's going through. Because the fact of the matter is when you go to jail, the 13th yeah. Amendment has you not know. been amended well, yet. You a, um, you're the property of the state, right? Yeah. So if they wanted to, they could farm you out for like experiments. They can do what they want to do with you. Mm -hmm. So the fact of the matter is, unfortunately, I mean, they can do they they can't do like cruel and unusual punishment. They can, but they they shouldn't. But yeah, right. They they can't, but they will. You know what I'm saying? That's the that's the thing about prison. <laughs> it's a lot of you're, things that the paperwork will say they prison. can't do. Right. A lot of shit that the paperwork will say they can't do, but unless you can prove that they did it. Uh, they can do it. So, you know, and unfortunately, it doesn't seem like too many people, I'm not going to say nobody cares about Kodak Black, but I don't see too many people really like coming to Kodak Black's aid. And I think that's because of what Kodak Black did. I mean, he did some pretty foul shit to be in jail. So, I mean, when he says things about what's going on to him in the prison, it's more like, uh, it's your fault that you're there, so you just got to take that punishment. Where it was something like, you know, the Central Park Five, that's different. But no, nigga, you did that shit. And, you know, you put yourself in that position. So now you got to suffer whatever consequences it is. You can say what, what it, you could say they put you in the paper bag and all that shit. But I'm telling you, like you said, Jay, if they did all that shit, you did something, nigga. Who, 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 like, who are you going to get to testify to, to that effect? No, but once again, Jay, you did something. So they probably got some type of paperwork saying, like, yo, you was spitting on the guard, or you did this, or right, you, you did that. Right, you talking shit. Or, right, you right, was talking you did shit. You something to have to get put in restraints. Like, yeah. you just don't get put in restraints. Like, hey, Kodak, come with us. Huh? And and, and when they, if they put you in the paper bag, that's some old suicide watch type shit. Yeah, you ain't right. You, you was in the hospital ward. Yeah, that's some old other shit, so. Kodak Black is uh, tripping. I didn't like his music, though. I ain't gonna lie to you. His music sounded fucking retarded to me. And his music now sounds fucking retarded to me. People be like, man, you don't fuck with that Kodak Black? No, nigga. How can you fuck with that Kodak Black? Nigga, that shit sounds like it's scrambling my brain when I listen to it. Like, it's literally making me dumber. Like, that's not my speed. I'm being stupid. Like, this shit is making me stupid. I can't listen to this. Kodak Black no. is not my speed. I just keep it like that. Not at all. Hopefully he's reading some books. Probably not. He's in restraints now. <laughs> I said hopefully. Oh, he's in restraints for six yeah, hours. Yeah, so he's probably, yeah, six yeah. hours of the day, so. <laughs> yeah, he, he's probably not reading books. No. But let's move on. Let's talk about Ray J. Let's move on. We're moving. We're moving. Yeah, we're moving. We got a nice pace going. Pace. Pace going. We got, yeah, pace. We got, uh, we got Ray J. Raj. Name is Ray J, not Raj. What do you smell like an Indian now? <laughs> well, you could say Raj or Rage. Did you like put rage. it all together in one rage. word? Rage. 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 Raymond James Norwood. He filed for divorce from his wife, Princess Love. I, I don't know if that's her nickname or if that's her real name or if that's her stage name. but her Sounds like a stripper name. Flat out. Is she a stripper? I don't know, but okay. Princess Love coming to the stage does have a fucking zip to it. Has a ring to it, goddamn it! If she well, if she's not a stripper, she should think about doing it. Because her name fits. He says he regrets it though, and he, he regrets what? Filing for divorce, and he wants like you know he wished that so he, he could just have. So can know, he just unfile for divorce? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He wants to have his wife and his kids under one, like his ex-wife. Kids under one roof, like essentially. You know, we divorced the shit. That's cool. You can still live here. <laughs> then I do my thing, and you can take care of your kids instead. You can't have no nigga do it. I'm just fucking. I don't know. If so he just that. wanted to babysit. I think that shit sound like. like he wanted just, to be the nanny, I guess. Right, just know. be the nanny. Just you stay do, here and now, be the nanny. I'll pay you. Now, with that being said, if you had a mansion and you and your wife got divorced, and could you still live in the same house with her? Uh, probably not. I I would say, yeah, until the point where she bring another nigga in, and I'd be like, what the fuck is he doing here? 
Uh, the reason I say probably not is because if I'm there with her, I'm going to be willing to work it out at all times. Like, if we're still in the same house together, I'm probably going to be like, yo, baby, what the fuck? She probably said some shit, nigga, to me. And, and I'll be like, look. But look, if I'm, if, once again, if we still in the same house, I'm probably going to forget her after a while. Because like, I'm going to see her walking around the house. I'm going to want some pussy. You know what I'm saying? I'm probably going to go out and... Do some online dating or something and not find nothing or some crazy bitches or some shit. And I'm gonna be like, yo, this we need to try to work this out. <laughs> this um there's nothing out here. God damn it, I'm fifty five. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just keep it in a hundred, man. <laughs> Niggas get old. Oh. Like I'm fifty five, bitch. <laughs> All right, you ain't going nowhere. Don't nobody want your old ass. Don't nobody want my old ass. God damn it. We got to work this shit out. Fuck that shit. Too hard. Right. I don't want to be the white girl. I don't want to be right. the white grown ass kid. Right. They might jump on me. <laughs> Back with his mama. <laughs> oh, that nigga, you stupid. I'm just saying, man. This is crazy. Yeah, I don't think he meant that. I think that was just some shit he said for you know, like, but once again, trying to be, but trying he, to sound cool. But if he didn't mean it, then why go, why go through with it? No, like, no, I think he, he meant it before, but I don't think he meant what he said. Oh. Because I think he was just trying, like, to sound benevolent. Like a nigga. Like, like, he was, like, cool, like, you know, I wish we could just, you know, still be in the same house. Right, like, kids. right, like that nigga. Right, but, you know. What you like mean? Mine. What the fuck? But I don't even get that shit. I think we can still be in the house with the kid. Nigga, you got a divorce, nigga. Get out. <laughs> fuck. That's what I was about to say. Like, when you get a divorce, generally, you have to leave. Right. Like, get the fuck out, nigga. You we have irreconcilable differences. You have to go. But see, that's that rich people shit. And see, that might be the issue is that he he, he come from a, some rich people shit and she don't. And he like, look, bitch, I, I'm going to fuck whatever I want to fuck when I want to fuck because I'm rich as fuck. You know what I'm saying? I'm so, Ray J. Right, I'm Ray J. I can fuck anything I want to fuck at any time. So this whole marriage shit, it's cool. I really fuck with you, but I'm going to keep fucking bitches. That type <laughs> shit. Like, I fuck you, my girl. I right, love I you. really fuck I with you. you. I really, really fuck with I'm telling you, my but I'm gonna keep fucking other bitches. That's just I. I got to. I'm Ray J. Right. I'm Ray J. I see a bitch. I'm a fucker. If she wanna fuck I me, I'm to. I'm Ray J. <laughs> I'm Brandy's brother. I'm Brandy's brother, Ray J. I had sex with a lot of bitches. That's my nickname, Ray J. Fuck bitches. Ray J. Fuck bitches. That's his nickname. Ray J. It should should be so. fuck bitches though. It should be the bitch fucker or something. Ray J. Fuck bitches. The bitch fucker. Ray J. Fuck bitches. That's his big man. Ray J. Fuck bitches. That's crazy. Ray J. But fuck yeah, bitches. Uh, Princess Love. I don't even. I I don't know I too wonder, much about. I wonder if that's her real name. Like when she was growing up, like some when she was born, it was like let's call her Princess Love. I mean, if I was the doctor, I'd be like, Psh, all right, <laughs> okay, uh, I'll be right back. I was just step outside. I'd have been calling people like they gonna name that baby Princess Love. I swear. They said it in there with me, man. And then they asked me to sign off on it. Like, I was like... And, and, I, and I was like, yo, is Princess Love just the first name? Or is that like the first and the middle name? Right. If that's her first name... Like, no, that's the first name. All one. All one? Oh, oh hell no. Oh, my God. And you ain't going to put no dash like, in there, like, bitch? No, no. The P is uh, capital. Then it's lowercase. Then the L is capital. And then the rest is lowercase. So she got two uh, uppercase letters in her first name. That's luck. That's lucky. That means she gonna be a millionaire so, like a millionaire because her name Princess Love and probably gonna fuck a black rapper named Ray J and make us a lot of money. What the issue probably was, he didn't want to do no movie like Kim K. He was probably like, <laughs> "Shut up." This got me on before. You know what I'm saying? I gotta keep I gotta that. Get, I, gotta get, I gotta keep that Raycon stock. I, I gotta get. I get it. I gotta get it back live. So I'm gonna need to. Uh, we gonna need to do another video. I gotta do another movie. clap movie. She like, no, nah, I ain't getting I don't want to do a clap movie. You're like, we can get in the divorce then. <laughs> I'm going to find somebody who want to do a clap movie with me. And we're going to get on. And that Ray yeah, J, that Ray is, Con stock going to be he's great. Like, Port, is my next, Port is my next venture. First he's it was like, earbuds. Yeah. I'm Port. killing earbuds right now, baby. Right, I got the earbuds going. So now I'm moving on. 
to sex movies starring <laughs> Ray J. Fuck bitches. <laughs> Two movies, fuck man. Let's go. Let's move. Let's move. Ray J. Fuck bitches. Let's talk about this. The, this is the story that I wanted to discuss with you. I thought this Ray was J. good with Tasha not being here. I thought this was a good story for you. Hmm. Now this is back in the day before Rashida from Love and Hip Hop and Kurt Frost got married. Okay. Mm-hmm. I want you to keep that in mind. Kurt Frost sees the brat and he fancies her. And Kurt Frost wants to get with the brat. Kurt Frost says this. When he's trying to get with the brat. At one point, he gives the brat 20 $100 bills with his name and number on it. Did you hear what I said? Mm-hmm. Twenty one hundred dollar bills with his name and number on it, and at one point he buys her a seventy five thousand dollar Lincoln Navigator, right? Mm-hmm. And this is just to get some pussy. Mm. Would you do that? First off, with the twenty dollar bills, let's just start there with the twenty one hundred dollar bills with your name and number on there. Go. No. Next question. <laughs> elaborate. Elaborate. You got to elaborate. You can't just give me a dough on that one. Why not? Come on, man. That nigga's an idiot. So, I don't do I don't do idiot idiotic shit. Why is he an idiot? Well, put it like this. Because he gave, he gave, listen. <laughs> if you're going to pay for some pussy, just pay for some pussy. He could have got some way better pussy than a brat for $2,000. He could have he could have fucked probably five bitches at once for two for two thousand dollars because that's all he gave her. You know what I'm saying? So, nigga, get out of here. He gave her a nappy. Oh yeah, the nappy truck. Oh nigga, come on. Man. Did he get the pussy though? That's the question. Did she say yeah. he hit? Yeah, he said he hit. Yeah, he cranked. Okay, well shit. Hey, if that's what the pussy was worth to him, then that's fine. But me, shit. Hell no. Nah. If she if I'd have shot at her and she said no and I shot again and she said no, I'd have said okay. <laughs> I mean, what the fuck? I'd have spent two thousand dollars somewhere else. Right. Um, you know, once again, that nigga was probably at the top of his game. He was producing some puffy and shit. He was probably doing all type of Bruh. money shit. So he was probably like that two thousand dollars to that two thousand to that nigga was probably like two hundred. It's like giving her two hundred. Shit, might have been like giving her twenty. Shit, ain't no telling how much money that nigga was getting at that time. Twenty grand, that two grand though, with my name and number on it. I don't see that. He wanted to make sure she called him, and she definitely called that nigga. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that with like quarters though. Can you do that with like give twenty bitch, nickels? You gonna give a bitch twenty dime? Twenty nickels. In a roll. Tell you, my, tell you my dime piece and give her 20 dimes. Yeah, I'm going to roll up. A, I'm going to give her a roll of dimes with my name on there. Like, here. Call, call me. me. <laughs> call me. It's more where that came from. Say you that much. I got a bag. It's more in the register. <laughs> I got a bag full of this shit, baby. <laughs> you got a bag full. Bag full of these. You got a bag nickels. full of this shit that you can just throw around your back and walk out, walk out the house if you want. Definitely, to. baby. If you want these dimes, the <laughs> fuck, man. I can't imagine a straight like. Okay, I'm gonna tell you like this: two thousand dollars. That's like yo, you my, you my, um, my significant other. Like we've been together for a long time, right? And you, your, your, your car is is broken down, and you need a new car, right? And we've been together for 10 years. So, yeah, I can help you get a car. Here's two grand to put down on the car. You see the length of the amount of shit that she must have put in? In those years being together for me to be able to give you $2,000? There's no way I'm going to walk up to give a strange young lady $2,000. Like, call me. Call me. I'm this cool. I don't care how fucking rich I am. Right, but see, that's the difference between us and them. Is that first and foremost, the shit that we talking? I hate to say it, but you know, like middle class nigga shit. You know what I'm saying? Like we 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 got a budget. Like okay. I'm gonna keep it a hundred. Like I can't I can't just 
give a female, you know, two bands and and still be good at this point in time in my life. Right, you know what I mean? Let's do it. But wait a minute, hold on. But if nigga had millions coming in, like millions coming in, Jay. Millions coming in. I'm not talking about thousands. I'm talking about millions coming in. Like, all right, this year we, you know, nigga made five million. You know, next year I'm estimated to make more, so I'm estimated to make about six, six point three, something like that. I know this money's coming because I've done these things to I put things in place okay. to make sure I that money's what coming. You're Nigga, two, what's two thousand dollars to a, a bitch that you see that's in the game, like you out kicking it, you know, in, in some big boy shit, and you see who you want to fuck in the, in the industry. I understand what you're saying. I like that's a oh, it's a play a move to me. I ain't gonna say no. Nah, I'm not saying it's a play a move, but I'm just saying. It's something different. Because I ain't saying it's a play. What? What? Because, see, it's not that. It was a player move that knocked her. It was a, the fact that it was different. The bitch was like, damn, damn, nigga, too bad. Oh, bitch, nigga, I could use this. But at the same time, it's like, this nigga, really? This nigga, you know what I'm saying? I think that's really what what made her be like, I mean, I'm going to call this nigga. But I'm quite sure he probably could have just put that shit on $200 bills. And she might have. If the nigga had game, you know what I'm saying? The nigga was about to shit. But see, that's even to the point, once again, when you got money like that, it ain't even about game. She ain't, that nigga didn't say shit to her. He gave her two bands with his number and shit on it and probably didn't say a motherfucking word to her, honestly, and walked off. And she called that nigga the next day or a day later like, hey, what's up? Yeah, it's me, the brat. Or... <laughs> Hey, it's, it's, it's the, the BR to the A to the T. That's what she, I don't think she said. It's the BR to the A to the T. But I'm just bomb. saying, it's the, it's the brat. She hit that it's nigga like, what's up? You feel me? So then after that, he probably clapped after that. She gave the nigga some pussy. I mean, he, he probably kept truck. it moving. Right, he probably kept he it probably, moving. He probably got the pussy. He was like, damn, bought the truck. Bought the truck. Because he gave her a truck. And he probably, she probably was like, you can't hit no more. But see, the thing about the truck is, see, once again, the thing about these niggas is also, these niggas be on some scam shit, too. That truck could have been, he could have got that shit for the low and just was like, here you go, bitch. Here you go, truck. So I got that bitch for the, for the cheap. <laughs> here you go, baby. I'm going to just right say here. this, dude. There's no way I'm going to do anything like that ever in my life, even if I was rich. Look, I'm going to tell you something. If you hit a lick on if you if you had a lick, right? And you had a bitch that you could not that that wanted to fuck that that you wanted to fuck and and you had a plug mm -hmm. that could get her whatever she wanted, whether it was a car, whether it was some money, whatever. What and she came free? to you, huh? Was it for free? Do I have to spend any money? No, it's a plug. Like I said, it's a plug. So let's say you got a move or a lick or something where you like, yo, bitch, you do this, or, you know, we could do this, and, you know, you'll get this amount, or whatever. Nigga, to, to fuck, why not, why wouldn't you do it? You know what I'm saying? Just to, that's, see, well, because that's, it's, it's, because you could be like, yo. It's different, because I didn't spend any money. Did you hear what I said? <laughs> was it, oh, oh, were you, you talking about something for free? And you was like, yeah. And I was like, oh, yeah, I'm about that. <laughs> Remember? Well, yeah, yeah, you're right. You didn't spend money. I mean, you spent some money, but bingo. You really spent some money, bro. Well, I didn't, cause you, you just didn't spend a lot. Of, you just spent a lot of money, man. It was $2, you gonna $2, always $2, spend the money. What's no, $2, it wasn't two thousand. It wasn't two thousand dollars. Oh, yeah. Right, it was. I'm winning the argument. It was two thousand dollars. I'm winning the argument. Yeah, that was just. Once again, you gotta realize, like I say, I can't really say it's no sucker shit because at this age. It probably at his. I don't know how old he was at the time, but once again, he probably had money. And this is before him and Rashida got together. And him and Rashida have been together for a long time. Right, but he's had money for. I'm a going minute. to read how long him and Rashida have been together. Hold on, I wrote it down. A long time. So, there's that. He's been getting money a long time. I'm just gonna say this, Al. Wasn't he a producer for Bad Boy? He's a producer for several people, one of them which was, I don't know. All right. All right. Thank you for that. You're welcome. I think, it, I think he produced for, for bit, someone for, for, for in the music industry. I think he produced for Bad Boy. I don't know. 
Oh, no, that was Stevie J. Stevie J. He was going to get you that one. Mary J. Blige. What? Mott Karate. Hibache. So, that was a great show, man. You felt that? Just as for Breonna Taylor, man. Don't try to not say nothing about that, man. That was... Mrs. Crazy. Taylor. That was crazy. That was a crazy verdict, man. Um... Only one of them got charged, and he wasn't even charged with the murder. He was charged with something that had nothing to do with the murder. But my whole thing was with this whole situation was if, um, you know, I, I still feel like it was like cold-blooded murder. And I still feel like somebody should definitely have paid for it. Because for, 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 they for, can't figure out who fired the fatal shot, from my understanding. In my opinion, though. And if you can't figure it out, then everybody eat it. Everybody got to eat it because one person, you. wait a minute, my thing is this. Because, you know, I was having a discussion and it's like one person, the person that shot at you, you didn't even kill him. But you kill an innocent person. And you get away with that. Like now, don't get me wrong, if they would have shot and killed old boy, I, I would have had a different perspective on the situation because hey you shot at them they shot back at you you died you know taylor lived i understand i understand that but you know for you guys to go in there as trained police officers break down the door without announcing yourself and because i keep reading i keep reading the stories and the stories keep getting deeper and deeper they keep getting more information more information so, from what I understand, they they broke down the door. From what I understand, this is this is how this is how it broke down, right? They said, boom. They said Brianna Taylor, old boy, was supposedly in the house. They say the police come to the door. They got the banner and ran them out, right? The three police that got charged, right? They're the ones who went into the house first. So they got the they got the banner and ran them out. Boom, they bust the door down. Now, before they bust the door down, they didn't they didn't bust it down with one bust. So you got boom, they boom, they hit the door, right? They say at that point in time, Brianna Taylor and her boyfriend, they get up. They like her boyfriend, like, who is it? Yelling at the door. Let's just say boom, you hear another one. Boom. This nigga like, who is it? Now he got his pistol. Brianna Taylor, she they getting their clothes on. That's basically what they said in the report. They getting their clothes. They get their clothes on basically while they trying to get in the get in the house. They said, "Boom!" They bust in the house. Now at this point in time, I'm pi I'm picturing. They, you know, they hit the door again. The door come off. They they say it, you know, it, it open up. It don't come all the way off the hinges, but they basically get busted off the hinges. When it, boom, open up, because the whole time they've been asking them, they've been yelling, who is it? Who's at the door? Who is it? Because they hear somebody banging at their door. Who is it? So, boom. So, they're on, so old boy got his pistol. He's on, they're on there. He, he has his gun, and supposedly Breonna Taylor is probably behind him or somewhere near him, you know what I'm saying, walking towards the door. You know what I mean? So, boom, the door comes off the hinges. I say, oh, boy, shoot, right? We don't know who shot first for real. Well, no, oh, boy, shoot. So, he, when he shoot, he only shoot one time. When he shoot, he hit, he hit basically the nigga in the leg, right? Oh, boy, who you hit in the leg, instead of him going down like, oh, I'm, I'm shot, I need help. The, I guess the adrenaline is flowing through this nigga so so heavy that he started busting. You know what I'm saying? I could see him being the first nigga busting because he he got shot. You know what I'm saying? But I'm quite sure once they heard the shot, they probably all start shooting. But at this point in time, from the reports and from what's stated, old boy and Breonna Taylor are are somewhat like going towards the door. So, in my opinion. How come you guys didn't see her? You know what I'm saying? Like, you guys didn't see what you were shooting at? 
how come you how come he didn't get hit what how was the house set up to where he was able to duck behind something or get out the way to where she was just there you know what i mean open to where she couldn't get away from what was going on you know what i'm saying so in my opinion that's that's like it's murder to me now, if you look up the meaning of murder, I believe it has the word premeditated in it, if I'm not mistaken. So, if you want to go into specifics, you can say that's why they didn't give them murders, because we know it wasn't pre... Well, we hope it wasn't... Well, no, we know it wasn't premeditated. And if anything, it would have been second-degree manslaughter. But, like I said, because it was a hail of gunfire... And he shot first. We don't know who shot the fatal shot. It's a lot of crazy situation. I'm not saying that what they said was correct. I'm just saying what they said. That's why they were in charges. But we can just go back to that shit. That cops got that immunity shit. And because you got that immunity shit, bro. You got that immunity shit. Right, so that's why I'm defunding the police. And you have that immunity. It's, it's not defunding the pin police, it's removing their immunity. Because the only way you're going to remove immunity. it is by defunding them, man. We pay their taxes, bro. I mean, when we pay their salary, bro. When you have immunity for that shit, it's just like, yo. When you have, it's basically an accident at work. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you, um, if you work at McDonald's and you give somebody too much change. You know what I'm saying? It's an accident. And yeah, you get fired for that. It's the same thing, like, but they don't. And that's what people are saying, like, yo, if I make a mistake at my job, I get fired. Like, I'm, I'm, I, don't, I don't know the insides of right. your job, but if you make a mistake big enough that it costs your company money, they're going to fire you. Listen, one of the, one of the guys sent out a, um, a mass email to the whole police department I believe this was either Tuesday or Monday. And in the email, he said things like, um, like, you know, like they don't appreciate us. And, you know, they, 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 they let us get in there. They let us get in their face. I mean, um, they get in our face and cuss at us and things of that nature. Like he was really going in, like basically just saying that police don't get any respect basically in so many words like oh they don't respect us and i'm just like you know unfortunately the reason that you don't get any respect is because from what we've seen and from what a lot of people have experienced you don't give any respect you know what i'm saying you approach people automatically with lightweight disrespect like it's it's very i'm not going to say me personally but it's the well, I can't say me personally. The majority of times that I've interacted with the police, they haven't been pleasant, but at the same time, I have never been um, like, oh, I've never overreacted, or I've never went to the extreme and tried to be on some old, because a lot of times, you know, it, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? They can just pay the tickets or have to do what they got to do and bail out of jail or whatever the fuck. But I've never had to, I've never felt like I had to go to the extreme of trying to prove a point or make a point of, you know, proving my rights and things of that nature. But it's, it's, it's somewhat like a nigga got PTSD because every time I see a police cop behind me, or police around me, nigga, I get, like, I get fearful, like, I get scared, like, I don't, like, I watch them, like, so that I can make sure that they don't get behind me and start driving by, and then when they do get behind me, oh my God, and I know I'm, uh, I know I'm good, but it's just the fact that even if I'm good, they can still pull me over if they want to, they can still be like, man, fuck it, I'm about to pull this nigga over, see what's going on, he can, I mean, honestly, a cop could be drunk on the job and, and do some crazy shit. And there's, and I'm not saying they wouldn't get fired or, or, or anything like that, but I'm just saying I've heard and, and read stories of cops being drunk on the job, pulling people over and doing ignorant shit. 
and still either keeping a job or <clears throat> going to another precinct and things of that nature. So, once again, like I say, defund, if, if we're not going to defund the police, we got to change the laws. You know what I'm saying? And these laws are so ingrained into our society and to, from the Constitution that it's fucking damn near impossible to change these laws. Now, they did change the one law about the the no-knock warrant, the no-knock warrants in uh, Louisville. But they, I don't think they changed that across the country or across the world. So it's still other probably cities and states that are still do a fucking no-knock, you know what I'm saying, search and the same shit that happened, at, that happened here. So I don't know, man. This shit, we, we, we have to, we have to do Get this shit together, cause like I said, I don't, I ain't fuck with it. Def, defund the police is what I'm down with, nigga. Fuck them. Let's 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 defund the police and try to build something different, something better. I mean, I'm I'm quite sure we could. That's just that's that's just my opinion. That, that was your opinion because it, I don't think it was someone else's. But thank you for reiterating that that was your opinion. So. That was Al's opinion, everyone. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, man. Al just gave us his opinion. That's my opinion. That's mine. Thank you. What's yours? What's your dude? I don't... I mean, you said a 45-minute soliloquy. Was it a soliloquy? That's a soliloquy. That I just hit him with? Yes. That, oh, that man, I did. That a soliloquy. What? Yeah. Okay. Because it wasn't written down. You know what I'm saying? It was long. So, you know, those are two things that make a soliloquy. That consists of a, you got to be, okay. So, there it is. You did it. Thank you. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, bro. Were you trying? Were you practicing that? I'm going to do a soliloquy tonight. Tonight, I'm going to do a soliloquy. That was, that was the. I wasn't hit him with that. I was just, no, I'm honestly, bro, because I've been, I've been reading about. You know how I be, man, when a nigga get a new spot, man. Niggas just been reading the news every day because that's all we can do at work is just read the news. So I read the news every day, all day. And that's one problem that we should not do is read the news all day, every day. I wake up, I read, see if there's anything that's like, is it Donald Trump like, make it like legal to kill everyone or some shit? Like, I'm passing Is, is the purge order. coming? Right, mm -hmm. I'm passing executive order for the purge. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, I always look. And then mm -hmm. I be like, you know. That's why I said that's how I knew about got, iOS 14, bro. You gotta, you gotta, um. We read about shit. We read about science. I think everybody we should science. do this. I think everybody should unplug a little bit. Because being like when we was, definitely when we was trapped in the house with the, the um, the lockdowns and shit, people got too locked in. And then that's, that's really, in my opinion, the problem with the presidential race. Like people have lost sight of what presidential parties are. Bro, and how do you figure? I don't think they. What you mean they lost sight of it? No, like do you know? Like people, this is just my views of how things work. But people have almost broken into like tribes, like like almost like. Like people like are, are, are saying like Democrats are, um, Demons. pedophile, like pedophile, uh, cannibals. You know what I'm saying? And I'm thinking like, like this. I mean, and then people are believing this. People are believing this, and then the people are, are saying like, I finally found out like, the, I finally well really read deeper in QAnon. QAnon and it's just like this guy named Q Anonymous and he's working with Donald Trump to defeat the deep state and he's dishing bits of this anonymous information to us and it's up to us to follow the breadcrumbs to the answer. So I'm like, okay, just, what? just, just listen to, okay, just so if we just listen to that, that logic, <laughs> like just if we listen to that, just base that this conspiracy based on that logic. Everybody's following breadcrumbs, right? That doesn't mean we're all gonna arrive at the same place in theory. Right. And then, so now you're just 
now everybody like a conspiracy theory doesn't work like that a conspiracy theory is very concise like aliens are a thing they come to our planet and they kidnap white people in small towns where nobody's around they play with them and then they put them back <laughs> do it all the time <laughs> right that's a conspiracy right? they play with them and they put them back <laughs> not not like yo um, somebody might be kidnapping kids. <laughs> like, that's not a fucking conspiracy. That's just a fucking, like, uh, open-ended statement. It is, and you can't make... There's some mean shit to say. Right, like, you know what I'm saying? And then, like, so people are so divided. And it's, like, almost like a blood feud, almost, where a political party, you're supposed to have, like, all right, and my, this is how I was taught government here's the government okay it's this big thing and you have a way that you think it should be ran i have a way that i think it should be ran but your way is always for the betterment of the government in america my way is always for the betterment and the betterment of america it's just you have a different way of getting there than i do you know what i'm saying so you want to convince people to follow your way to get to the better way of government. And I want to get people to follow my way. So we have a debate, and the people listen. Oh, okay, well, I like his way better. I'm going to vote for him. And then we all say, oh, well, you know, I voted for him, but, you know, fuck it. We're just going to follow this way for the betterment of America, not to, like, yo, we're going to try, like, to lock up people for false charges, we go on, like, it's just weird now, like, it's just not how it's supposed to be, like, this is not how it's supposed to work, no. and people don't, un and, like, I guess people have never, like, it really shows, like, the ignorance of America, like, sometimes, like, when they show those, those rallies and shit, and those people say those things, it, to me, it makes other countries see those things and be like, damn, America's stupid. And that's what Donald Trump has, in my opinion, done to us. It's made America look stupid. Like, we've never looked stupid. We've done fucked up shit, you know what I'm saying, in, in the world. I don't, you know what I'm saying? We're like, we dropped the atomic bomb. Yeah. But we never look stupid. No matter what, we've done some fucked up shit. We've suppressed black people for years, right? But we never looked stupid. You know what I'm saying? We've always looked like, America always looked like, it's like this. You know how that family be like, they be like, yeah, that family perfect as fuck. Nothing goes wrong. And then like, they be smiling and shit and close the door, then all hell breaks loose. That's what America was. Like, we was perfect for everything else. Like, but you know, behind the scenes, some crazy shit's happening. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Some wild shit going on. But you know, we were, we always seem to have it in control. Now, when America doesn't look like it's in control, the world doesn't look like it's in control. That's why I was, you remember when I told you when you got elected that how bad this shit was? You remember that? Mm hmm And I told you why? Because when you're, <laughs> when you're the president of America, you're not just the president of the United States, you're the president of the free world. You're the ruler of the free world. You know what I'm saying? Like, Oh, yeah, they're protesting yeah. everywhere. They're and that's not how it's supposed world. to be. No, but they are. Because. On our behalf. Because we look ridiculous. And we need help. They're like, we need help. They need help. But by, by no means do I agree with 100% of everything politically probably that Joe Biden has done in his life or Kamala Harris. Like, but they are, which people get mad, but they're lifelong politicians. This is their business. You don't go to the fucking butcher to get your fucking sink fixed. <laughs> but I'm done. Facts. I'm done. Facts. I don't want to talk no more. I'm listening, bitch. I'm done. Why are you done? You don't want to get into it? Done. Don't need that. I don't need to get into that.
Oh. We'll say that for the next issue. We'll say that for Tell the next where they episode. Can get us at where you know where to get it. Know what? Why don't you subscribe? Where Why don't you should, You should subscribe because. What is that noise? You hear that? You should subscribe because this is the place to be every Wednesday between 9 and 10. But usually we on at 9, but tonight we got started late because we had some meetings going on. But other than that, we're usually here at 9, live, Facebook. Where can they subscribe at, man? They can subscribe at YouTube. We need more subscribers on YouTube. The more subscribers, the better. We really appreciate the love. Subscribe on YouTube. And then when you get to the YouTube, go ahead, throw a thumbs up. Thumbs up. We all like the thumbs ups. Um, on the YouTube, it helps with our algorithm. But um, you know where you can find me at S O E S O E M G on Instagram. You can always find me at Handsome John Thirty Five. Do, do they be? Do they? Do they find you for real? Do do yeah. people? Oh, okay. I just want to make sure, man. Want to make sure you get the. Just want to make sure you get the love you deserve, bro. Fucking made up thing, like I made it up. I didn't know if they was finding you or not. I didn't know if you had any fans. Everybody hates you, man. Okay. I'm just telling the truth. I didn't know if you had any fans. I have one fan, which is one more than you have. Uh, All right, I'm about to beat your ass. We out.